I spent a lot of my growing up, up until I finished matric um, in, in a village um, called Mapajaking um, in Zebediela. It's in Limpopo. In the village, I was involved more with sort of the typical village life of um, herding cattle. Um, when I was older, when I was younger, it was goats and sheep and uh, spending a lot of time in the forest, um, uh, hanging out there. And, you know, like most kids, you know, playing soccer um, in the field and doing naughty things, climbing trees and other things. But I think um, that's the stage of my life also that gave me a value system, um, developed my value system. My grandmother helped me to become an adult and think like a matured person early on in my life. And everybody needs someone who can believe in them completely. And I think my grandmother was that person. She completely believed in me without holding back in any way and she was paralyzed and she was not really mobile she could not walk you know and she was someone who was constantly lying on the floor because of a stroke and yet she believed in the beauty of the world and stories of the world you know every time you come back from school she's willing to sit there and listen to your stories about what happened at school what what happened what else happened and told stories that I felt like was even stories designed for adults, but helped to teach me so much and gave me so much wisdom about the world and how to navigate the world. That for me is quite fascinating. It's, it's the story of people in our life who become anchors for things that they themselves have not experienced. It's almost like it's a spiritual guidance for them. The generosity of spirit that came from my grandmother represented something different, something that was not for her personally, but was for me, in as much as there was so much that I would have given for her. But the way that she engaged with me and coached me, mentored me, taught me and guided me was very much about believing in me for me. Even as a, a young person, I, I was treated like a human being with dignity. I appreciate the sort of sense of humanity that it instilled in me, the sense of dignity, the sense of um, confidence in who I am, and uh, the sort of trust in, in me, that the belief in me that you can do what you need to do, you can achieve um, things that you want to achieve in life, even things that the person behind you had never experienced themselves, but they still believed in you to, to do that. And, and we have to do that all the time, you know, it's like we are here in an environment where we have to nurture people to achieve things that we ourselves have not achieved. But for me, that's, that's what actually characterizes that whole experience of growing up in, in the village. It's the building of a value system that lives with you for a, for a long time. And even now, I still do that. I still have to think before I speak about the potential consequences of what I say, before I act about the potential consequences of what I do. And, and that's why I'm very grateful for, for that life that I feel like it was protective. Had I continued to live in a township where it was rough and rowdy, I may not have learned the same kind of value system. Um, and even for where I am now, I'm still grateful for that stage of, of my life until I finished matric. 
um, that really formed the basis and the foundation of my value system.